From obvious names to some you might not have heard of, celebrities come in all shapes and sizes, and all net worths. Today we're counting down 8 of the richest television stars based on their 2024 net worth. You'll want to stick around to find out who claimed our top spot. Let's get started. Number 8. Tom Cruise, 600 million. On the topic of attractive male leads, this list and list of attractive male leads would have been incomplete without Tom Cruise, as the star of Mission Impossible franchise, and maybe even his link to the elusive but very wealthy Church of Scientology, Cruise has amassed a fortune of over $600 million. While the jury is still out on whether Cruise's attachment to Scientology is sinister or just quirky, we have to admit that he's a pretty great actor and an even greater businessman. Fallout, the recent film in the Mission Impossible franchise, grossed over $791 million. Tom was the lead, pretty sure he made a couple million himself. For example, for Ghost Protocol, the actor walked away with one of the highest actor salaries ever recorded at $75 million. His production company, Cruz Wagner Productions, has been involved in many of his films, including, you guessed it, the Mission Impossible franchise, which has grossed over $3.5 billion globally. Number 7. Shah Rukh Khan, 730 million. The king of Bollywood himself, Shah Rukh Khan, better known as SRK, is next up on our list of wealthiest actors of all time. In any case, he's the wealthiest actor Bollywood's ever seen with a total fortune of 730 million dollars. It's not all from acting by the way, we're talking a combination of prolific film roles, brand deals, and smart investments that have secured SRK's spot on our list. Still, Khan's primary source of income is his film career. He has starred in over 80 Bollywood movies, many of which have been box office hits. Films like Chennai Express and Happy New Year grossed over 50 million worldwide. His production company, Red Chili's Entertainment, further boosts his earnings by producing successful films and owning post-production and VFX units. He's used his wealth to buy luxury mansions, including the Manat home in Mumbai, which is valued at over $24 million. There's also a villa in Dubai's Palm Jumari. SRK also owns the Kolkata Knight Riders, an Indian Premier League team. The franchise's value reaches $1.1 billion back in 2022. The man just keeps getting richer and richer by the minute. Number 6. Dwayne Johnson, $800 million. Name me a blockbuster hit without Dwayne Johnson in it. Go ahead, you know what? Name 10 films off the top of your head where Dwayne wasn't at least there, even for a cameo. That's right, you can't. The actor's pretty much taken over Hollywood at this point, and it looks like he has every mega production house on his roster. Not that anyone's complaining though, Dwayne's been one to take on roles in every genre there is. Comedy, action, thriller, horror, you name it, he's been in it. Because he's such a well sought actor, he gets paid a considerably higher salary than his co-stars. For example, Dwayne was part of a star-studded ensemble in Red Notice, yet still made $2 million more than his castmates. That's about $22 million for the actor, compared to $20 million for everyone else. 2022 was an especially profitable year for the guy, as he starred in Red Notice and Jungle Cruise, netting a total of $270 million. That includes his salary as an actor, his brand deals, his appearance fees, and the fee he charged to promote a project on his social media. He has 7 million followers by the way. The actor also makes movies from deals with studios in which he gets a cut of the film's box office revenue on top of his lofty salaries. Many of Johnson's action-packed films like the Fast and the Furious and Jumanji franchises have been global blockbuster hits, earning close to 1 billion at the box office. The star has also acted in HBO series Ballers, where he earns another 650,000 per episode. Johnson also starred as himself on the NBC series Young Rock, based on his childhood. He's also the host and creator of the competitive show The Titan Game on NBC. This isn't to say that he's made his entire net worth through acting. The former wrestler turned actor is also moonlighting as an entrepreneur and has several successful businesses and brand collaborators. Everyone's excited to see what's next. It's a role in the live action Moana by the way, and I can't wait for that. Number 5. Jerry Seinfeld, 950 million. A cast member from Seinfeld, and not the only one on today's list, the obvious Jerry Seinfeld. As the series co-creator and later buying out Larry David for rights to the entire show, Jerry did what every Hollywood actor dreams of doing, immortalizing himself through his work. Think about it for a second. Seinfeld aired in 1989 and 
until 1998, for a total of nine seasons. Even then, it's been several decades since the show stopped running, yet everyone still talks about it as one of the greatest sitcoms of all time. Thanks, Jerry. And Jerry has a lot to be thankful for, too. All thanks to Seinfeld, in fact. Interestingly, he could have been worth more and actually reached billionaire status by now had he taken a networking deal for season 10. Yep, there could have been another Seinfeld season, but Jerry, the star of the show, turned down the offer. The guy turned down $5 million per episode just because he believed it was time to end the show he loved. It was the right call, and not one that the actor regrets. Since then, yes, he's been on a couple of shows and cameoed here and there. His biggest revenue stream, however, is still Seinfeld. Currently, he makes over $20 million purely out of reruns and syndication. There's a few wise investments sprinkled here and there too, but a lot of what he has is because of a show that ended in 1998. Isn't that just a dream? Number four, Tyler Perry, one billion. And now the man, the myth, and the legend himself, Tyler Perry, who rose to international stardom with the lovable, sometimes frustrating, and often wise character, Madea. But did you know that he was once homeless? Yep, one of the richest people in the world today lived in his car for three whole months. That's probably why Whoopi Goldberg said that every dime on Perry's income has been earned through blood, sweat, and tears. The director, producer, scriptwriter, and actor has taken on several gigs over the course of his career, but can rest comfortably today knowing that his kids are well taken care of. Probably even his grandkids too at this point. Besides the Medea film franchise, Perry has worked on several productions he owns and operates. Tyler Perry Studios and is reportedly very hands-on to the point that when House of Pain was sold for $200 million, $138 million of it went to Perry himself because he'd taken on the project wholly by himself. Did you know that he makes $200 million a year just in revenue from his previous projects? Number 3. Brock Pierce $2 billion. Coming up is a name you might not be familiar with, and maybe even his face won't ring a bell. But for people involved in finance and crypto, Brock Pierce is the gold standard. In fact, you probably could tell that he was the child star of Mighty Ducks. Since then, Brock's taken a step back from acting and taken a step forward in crypto. In fact, Brock retired from acting at the age of 16 after starring in four successful film franchises making enough to get him by comfortably for the next couple of years. With free time now that he wasn't reading scripts, he started investing. He became a minor partner in Digital Entertainment Network, and with only a 1% share, he was able to take home $250,000. By the way, he was only 18 back then. A few other very successful businesses followed before Brock found his true calling at Blockchain Capital, a venture capital firm he founded with the Stephen brothers, Bart and Bradford. He's since been part of a delegation that met with the Salvadorian government to incorporate crypto as El Salvador's national currency. Brock's ambitious, that's for sure, and it's paid off very well. Number two, Julia Louis Dreyfus, four billion. Moving on to a name you definitely have heard of, Julia Louis Dreyfus, known for her role on Seinfeld and Veep. Julia is one of the most prolific actors of all time. In fact, she's tied for the most Emmy wins along with the late Cloris Leachman. That's eight wins over three shows over three decades. She's a great actress, and that's for sure. And she's had more than a few critically acclaimed roles on long-running projects. All that being said, how did she amass a fortune worth over $4 billion? If you strip down her net worth to the bare bones of it all, she's only including her work on television and her film portfolio. She's worth several million. Still, one million more than any average person on the globe. But how'd she come to four billion? Did she find a pot of gold? More like silver. As in, she was born with a silver spoon. That's right, a fun trivia night fact about Julia, one of the most famous actresses of all time, is that she actually comes from an extremely wealthy family. Her father was the late Gerard Louis Dreyfus. Most people haven't even made the connection, but Julia inherited a large sum at the time of her father's death, who was the chairman of Louis Dreyfus Energy Services. In turn, a subsidiary of the Louis Dreyfus company worth several billions. The energy service portion of the company was involved in crude oil trading, gas investments, and infrastructure. Despite coming from money, and a lot of it at that, Julia's never used her family's connections to get ahead in the curve. In fact, after SNL, her career hit a plateau. It wasn't until years later that she finally picked up momentum, earned several Emmys, and became one of the most successful castmates from Seinfeld. Okay, who's next? Who's earned our top spot? 
another cast member from Seinfeld. Whoever it is, it's got to be one of the most famous faces on the planet, right? Number one, Jamie Gertz, eight billion. We're starting off strong with a net worth of eight billion. That's a huge number to catch up to. But more surprising than this actress's net worth is the fact that for the richest star in the world, not a lot of people can put a name to that face. At least, not immediately. When you see Jamie Gertz, either one of two things happen. You remember her from her breakthrough role on The Lost Boys and other leading gigs in the 80s. Or you remember seeing a poster of Gertz with big bouncy hair, typical for the 80s in recent years. That's 2020 onwards. Jamie hasn't actually been acting much. Her most recent role came in 2022 when she starred as Rita in the film I Want You Back, a well-received film, sure, but nothing to write home about. So how did Jamie amass a fortune that would take you 761 years just to count? Well, in 1989, she married Tony Ressler, and her net worth shot up from there, a modest few million to billions. Tony founded Apollo Global Management in 1990, a multi-billion dollar company, and is also a member of Mark Atancio's investment group. Gertz is actually also a member and an active participant. Together with her husband, Gertz has given back to more charities than you can count. In fact, the Giving Back Fund named Gertz and Wrestler as their number one supporters. You might not see her on television that much anymore, but you can always see her sitting courtside at an Atlanta Hawk game. By the way, she owns the Atlanta Hawks. Who do you think should have been on this list? Let us know in the comments. Be sure to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, and check out some of our other videos. We'll see you back here for another one.